So welcome back. I know for me it's been a long time since I've made a video, um, but I'm back now. And you know, there's some topics that are really taboo, and one of those topics is pornography. Now I'm not saying pornography is good or bad, but no one wants to talk about it. And I feel that in any situation, whether it's good or bad, you should learn stuff. And so here are the top five things pornography has taught me. Number five, what to do when caught cheating. Now there's never an excuse to cheat. But if you're that type of horrible person who does and you're caught, the best thing to do is just invite them to join. It seems like the majority of upset happens not because you cheat, but because you don't include them. Think about it, it's like not being picked for a baseball team. That hurts. So the best solution is just to ask them to join. If I've learned one thing from porn, if you invite them, they are more than happy to accommodate. Number four, pizza delivery guys have the best life. Are you down on your luck romantically? Do you want to be appealing to the opposite sex? The best thing you can do is get a part-time job as a pizza delivery guy. They seem to have the best luck when wooing a sexual candidate. Pizza's here! It's a little known fact that your pheromones, mixed with the smell of pizza dough and poverty, make an irresistible concoction to a sexual partner. That's just science. Number three. Men are considered little more than objects. Yes, it's sad but true. If porn is any indication, men are objectified. But I thought it's the woman you say. No, look at this. See, beautiful picture. Who do you notice? You notice the girl. Do you notice the guy? No, because he's little more than a prop. See, that's the thing. Their faces are never in it because no one cares about the guy. The guy is there for one purpose. He's a tool or an object. Thus, objectified. And meanwhile, while guys are getting ignored, the girls get all the glory. Oh. But that's just something us guys have to live with. Number two, men just want the answer to who is your daddy? It's the most frequently asked question, and yet the guy never seems to get a satisfying answer. Tell me, who is your daddy? No, who's your daddy? I wanna know, I wanna know him. What's his name, where does he work? Who's your daddy? Um. You? Me? I'm not your daddy, but no, who is your daddy? The guys are just trying to know more about the woman, and yet she's reluctant to talk about herself. It's a sad thing because for any relationship to grow, you need communication. They can't just shut down. And that's why the question is so important. Now, the final major thing that I learned is actually the saddest above all else for me. Number one, 13 inches is average. Okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. Need I say more? But we all have to play the game of life with the hands that we're dealt. And if all else fails, we can always become a delivery boy. Those are the things I've learned from porn. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next week. I know I've said it before, but I will.